رفاهات مو تيزة تيو مرلي ما قعد ولا اقتالو مطونا هوين مو قلاتايين يلي ملقي الشرف فاهد مو تيزة تيو مرلي ما قعد ولا اقتالو مطونا هوين مو قلاتايين معناها قروح لنا لا ملكيو I made it to the Dead Sea. After so many adventures, I finally managed to get here. Wow, this is nice, is it? Oh wow, this is salt. I thought it was a stone, but instead it's salt. It looks like a crystal or something. This is so interesting. <laughs> it's actually salt. Hmm, interesting. So I finally made it to the Dead Sea. I'm very excited about this why. Like why was I so keen to come here? Well, this sea is very special from many points of view. Now, first of all, it's the lowest dry point in the world. So it's minus 300 or something or minus 400 and something. I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to check. Also, this sea has 34.2% salt in it. That's huge, 34.2. That's 9.6 times more than the ocean. Also, uh, I thought that it's called Dead Sea just for some reason, you know, I didn't really took it literally because obviously you have Black Sea, for example, and it's not black, you know, Black Sea, but it's not a Black Sea. So when I heard about that sea, I never imagined that the, 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 the sea is actually dead, uh, but it is. So what, what I mean by that, it means that because of the salt concentration is so high, nothing lives in this sea. So you have no fish, no vegetation, nothing, which is so weird in a way, if that makes sense. Like, you know, you would expect fish, you would expect, you know, but not in this sea. So uh, that's another kind of reason why this place is so uh, special in a way. Um, also, the Dead Sea is not really a sea, it's a, a lake. It's called Dead Sea, but in fact it's a big lake. And also you were supposed to be floating because obviously there's so much salt that should keep you you know up so basically you cannot drown here so even if you don't know how to swim you would be fine in this sea slash lake so for all these many reasons i have my gopro with me so i'll try to film obviously i don't expect to see anything plus it's not that clear you know it's not snorkeling kind of type of sea i see uh, it's it's a bit unclear when it comes to you know uh, with my gopro probably won't see that much so yeah, I'll be here for two or three hours because I don't have any shade and I started to burn. I started because of the filming. So I was filming in Amman and I, my, my skin just kind of, I'm already really red and I don't have any protection. So I won't be able to stay for more than a couple of hours because then I risk like some burns. Uh, but it's enough for me just to go in the water, float a bit. I'm a big sea lover, so this one, when I kind of read about it, you know, when I found out all this information about the level of salt floating, uh, not being any form of life inside, I was like, wow, I must see that sea. That's something different. I must see it. I must experience. I must touch it. I must go in. It's 5th of April today, but it's so hot. I think it's like 30 degrees in this moment here. So I wouldn't recommend you to come in August because you would die here, I think, like it would be so hot. I'm at the free beach, like I don't have any facilities here. That's my choice. I mean, there is a kind of uh, beach with the facilities here nearby. I mean, it's full of them. You have lots of luxury hotels in here, like honestly, a huge choice of hotels. Given that I only want to stay a couple of hours and I wanted to be able to film, you know, and to talk to the camera, I wanted to be in a place where I'm on my own. So I said, okay, I'll just go to a free beach, do my filming. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and then just go away. It was just a matter of seeing quickly, you know, what's this sea all about, just to make an impression and to say, yes, I've been to the Dead Sea. I was floating. It's all good, you know. And, and that's it. I'll be going back to Amman. But here I am. So I'll celebrate this moment. 
and I'll go in because I'm so keen to test it. Oh, it's warm. I love it. It's warm. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's good. I love it. So warm, honestly. Wow. Very warm. I didn't expect that. Okay, I'll drink some water and then uh, go in. Given that I'm completely alone in this moment in here because the guys from the, you know, beach from the hotel have left. So I won't go too far away because, you know, if something happens, I have literally nobody. But they can hear me in case I want to scream or something. They can hear me because they are lying on their beds there, you know, so it's fine. But I won't go too much into it just for, you know. Uh, so nothing really can happen here because you cannot drown and there is, there's no life in it. So it's very unlikely that something will happen. Okay, so I have now my GoPro with me. I left my cannon on the shore. Aha, it's now a bit chillier. Aha. I don't think I can see much with the GoPro. I'll try, let's see. Definitely floating, like big time. <laughs> I am so flat. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, I just had some in my mouth. Oh, oh god. Oh. wash my face oh my god oh you don't want this in your mouth oh oh my god it's so salted my eyes are burning oh oh my god it's so oily oh oh, oh my gosh i need to wash my face quick oh my god oh my gosh oh gosh oh god oh Oh, that's not nice. Okay, so the deal. Oh my god. Oh, I uh. Mm. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Oh, my eyes are burning. I cannot open my eyes. Okay, I'll tell you in a second what's going on. Sorry. I need to clean my face properly. Okay, so I did the mistake of kind of going into the sea as normal. Obviously, I didn't see that coming, you know what I mean? I thought, okay, salt it, fine, I can deal with that. It's bitter, fine, I can deal with that, you know what I mean? Wow, it's totally different thing than what I expected, oh my gosh! Whew. Okay, I had foundation on my face to protect me against the sun because I don't have any sun protection with me. But now, because of the salt, I took all my foundation down. Oh, man. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Wow, I'm still in shock about this sea. Wow, so weird. It's... Jesus, it's so weird. Like, when they said it's bitter, I expected bitter. This is beyond bitter. It's, I don't even know how to describe the taste of this sea. It's bitter 10,000 times. I don't know how to explain. It's strongest. Wow. I, I, 
wow and my eyes were burning honestly it was burning oh my god it was painful so long story short no absolutely not try to go into this sea at the free beach like you must go in a facility because you need to take a shower straight away you cannot keep this on your body like now it's burning my skin because i was a bit sunburned on my legs and on my arms and it's burning and for some reason that i don't understand maybe because of the salt i don't know i'll have to google this it's very oily like very 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 oily imagine you know when you put you you took a shower and then you put the baby oil on your body you know like just to make your skin smoother it's exactly the same like i have baby body on it's oily 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 i mean was worth it because you know it's a unique experience at the end of the day like wow this wouldn't happen in a different sea so no wonder there's no life in this water absolutely no wonder because it's it's impossible it's so strong because of the salt like bitter and burning you know even for human imagine poor fish oh my gosh no so no wonder i'm not amazed now i was thinking why you know i mean okay it's salted but still something could live in it you know i was thinking not after going in after going in i'm saying oh yes now i understand why it's dead i would be dead in an hour to stay in it's honestly it's like acid it's funny when i film this sea looks so innocent this looks like just any other sea you know like oh how cute you know lovely sea look at it but then you go in it's like a monster you know ready to eat you ready to kill you really like oh my god so innocent but then you know like a cat looks so innocent but then not my type of sea the less sea doggy hi hi Eita. hi Eita, Tati. hi hi Eita. hi i have a friend you see but he's scared of me so he's running away come back come back come here shame i don't have any food with me i wanted to investigate a bit why it's so oily just i'm thinking is the salt creating this effect of oiliness and even if you look from closer so i'll try to film closer you can kind of see that you know a weird oil kind of situation look interesting that even if i if, if i touch with the hand you know the water my hand is uh, it's it's floating so you cannot really go down it's very hard very very we have an amazing planet you guys this planet our planet is so 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 unique full of surprises full of unexplainable things really imagine that imagine that okay so now that's drying you know the salt on my skin i'm literally white i'm a white i'm a snowman like look i don't even know if you can see it the whole arm is covered in salt i don't even know how i can clean this because i don't have enough water to clean myself I'm literally a, a snowman wow and I don't have where to wash so I have this wet towels here I'll use them just to clean up a bit and just get the hell out of here <laughs> that being said was still a fun experience I you know you must be here in order to experience this you must be here but trust me it's not pleasant as such it's, it's not pleasant so yeah I, I don't know how people over there can enjoy themselves in the water because honestly it's burning because probably they're going straight to the shower or something and probably they don't touch you know they just go up to here because if you go just up to here it's fine but if by any chance you're going in by mistake you know and get your face in that's the end of you that's the end of you 
let's get dressed and get out i just want to go back from here i just want to go back to amman uh, i kind of had enough with all due respect for the dead sea i am struggling to clean up my glasses i put some clean water on them but they are still very oily so the oil on them is very hard to get out as you can see they are extremely oily okay this <laughs> This will be a challenge for me, even to get back to the hotel. Oh my god, I barely see anything with these glasses now, but I don't know how to clean them really. Okay, whatever. This was quite an adventure, you know, this was quite an adventure. I'm not sorry I came. Oh my god, my nose is burning because I think I still have some salt here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a salt that really burns. It's not like normal, like it's very, very intense. Oh, and I cannot see anything. Okay, fair, fair enough. We, we, we experienced this as well. You know, we only live once, so we must experience everything. I will survive. I will eventually get to the hotel somehow. But, you know, it was worth trying because you never know. But yeah, if you want to come, remember everything that I told you. Yeah, be a bit more wise. Aya! Aya! Oh, gee, there are some um, insects that are biting. So be careful of that as well. I think I received a few bites already. Okay, so on top of everything, let's add the insects that will bite you as well. Okay, that being said, I'll take my stuff. And off we go with my glasses full of oil, but fair enough, you know. Okay, let's get out of here. That's more or less about it with my second sea from my Middle East trip, the Dead Sea. And I'm dead as well now. Bye bye.